guys, it's Andy from Shadow Master. Uh, I've just spent uh, two days uh, hanging out with local fishermen from the southern part of Thailand. Um, you know I used to fish alone, right? I don't have any fishing friends and you know it's quite hard to, to make friends uh, in Thailand because of the language barrier. So um, last Friday I have contacted via Facebook and Messenger uh, the guy who has made uh, this wonderful t-shirt and I asked him if he would go to fishing uh, Saturday and Sunday and so he accepted to, to, to browse me to, to fishing places uh, with his friends where he used to fish you know um, every weekend or almost and I had a wonderful experience over there uh, I have learned a lot uh, fishing with these guys that you know spend most of their of their weekend traveling around the country, meeting with other fishing teams, um, and and yeah, I have I have learned a lot about you know techniques, season, baits, the behavior of the snakeheads. Uh, so I really would like to thank uh, Mr. Tai that, that brought me there, and the other fishermen that I have met. Uh, Mr. Pio, uh, Mr. Pawan, Mr. Yut, and other other fishermen that I, I can't remember their name. Forgive me for that. And yeah, some things that you know I have learned also. You know, fishing is not only catching big fish and and taking picture and posting them online or making videos like I do, but you know, it's to learn. To, to, to continue to learn from, from other people. You know right now it's the low season for snakehead fishing, so uh, lots of fishermen, uh, you know, they go to fish in the sea. Uh, you, all of the reservoir, the biggest reservoir in Thailand are, are flooded and you know, the, the, the fish are spread. So they told me before I, I, I went there, they said, you know, Andy, it would be difficult to catch some fish, but at least you will be with us. And if you have any question, then you can ask. So it's what, it's what I did. I don't have so much footage, you know, about about the fishing trip. Um, uh, I didn't want, you know, to disturb all the guys with my camera all the time. It was the, the first time for me meeting them. But we we have plan, you know, to meet again and, and and maybe to travel together to other other provinces. So you know, those guys they they give me a lot of, of base that they, they use uh, they use uh, regularly to catch uh, big snakeheads. And that's the most important thing, guys. It's not only you know catching fish. Huh? For me, fishing it's a pretext to meet new people. Uh, it's, it's kind of adventure, you know, to 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 go to places you have never been, fishing with people you have never met. Uh, most of the time, you know, you sleep in their house, living with their family. So you will see in the video um, now that you know the, the the lake is quite big. It's one of the biggest. It's the biggest lake that I've ever fished even though it's far away from being the biggest lake in Thailand and um, and yeah you know I, I uh, because there are like three main techniques you know for fishing in snakeheads in Thailand uh, you have like you know uh, how to say um, power fishing where you know you just just cast on the blank and on the bank of the of the lake to, 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 to make the, the, the snakeheads you know attack your, your lure or your frog it's Technique that I, I use most of the time that I prefer to use, but there are two other techniques that I'm really new with and I don't know much, but I don't know much things about. Uh, what they call like side casting, where you know the, the snakeheads come and and to take a breath and and come back. So like they have a, a techniques with with crankbait, with deep crankbait. Um, you know when the snakeheads come and go down, and then the crankbait. Have to meet the snake at a certain level of, of the water, so all these kind of things were really useful, and and I will definitely try to develop these techniques uh, during my, my my future fishing trips uh, to buy a couple of new lures and and to talk to you guys about what I learned, what is working, what you know. I really want to share with you uh, about you know my my learning experience. Right now I am in Bangkok. You know I am a student in Bangkok. I am doing my bachelor degree here and I take this opportunity to meet other uh, fishermen in Bangkok or you know the, the, the provinces that are nearby and, um, and it's new for me, it's totally new things, uh, it's not 
it's not easy for me, you know, to, to contact uh, other fishermen and to ask if they can bring me uh, to their fishing places, meeting their friends. And it's not, it's not that easy, especially with the language. In Thailand, you know, people, they are really shy, exchanging in English. So it's, it's complicated, but once you get the contact, once you, you make the effort to visit them and spending time with them, then everything is going to be much easier. That's why it's going to be with me after this fishing trip. So please comment uh, what you would like me to do for uh, the next video and what would you like to see. Uh, I'm not sure if you are aware of you know, the snakehead fishing in Thailand, but if, whether you want me to try a particular technique or a uh, particular material, I will try you know, these, these lures uh, as soon as I will be back home and, and I will probably record some videos with that. So yeah, uh, that's all for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you know, it's kind of a lot of work, you know, to record, edit, uh, especially when you are new to do that. So uh, I'm sorry for uh, the quality of the video. Or if I made some, some mistake while I'm speaking, you know, English is not my native language. So, so yes, guys, thank you again for your support and, and hope to see you soon. Bye.